Hi there. You know, people in our audience have made a lot of comments about not just wanting to control the quality of their lives and impact that, but also to control the quality of their deaths. And after watching their loved ones suffer through the process of dementia, they say over and over again, I don't want to have that experience. I don't want to suffer like that at the end of my life. I want control. The death with dignity laws in the United States effectively rule out people who have dementia based on the criteria that they list. But in a new development, there's a place in the world where people with dementia can access a death with dignity law. So let's talk about it. Death with dignity in the United States is legal in 11 different states and jurisdictions. It has basic requirements and some of the areas vary by location, but some of the generalized requirements include that you have to be 18 or older. You have to be able to communicate decisions for yourself. Do you have the capacity to be able to make the decision and communicate it to your provider? And you have to be diagnosed with a terminal illness that will lead to your death within the next six months. These requirements basically rule out people with dementia for several different reasons. One of them is that by the time you get your diagnosis of dementia, there's no guarantee that you're going to die within six months and many people live for quite some time after that. Also, when a person is at the stage where they may die within six months and a provider might be able to state that for them, they generally no longer have capacity to be able to make decisions for themselves within the context of dementia. That's why a new development in Canada is so striking. Canada enacted MAID, or Medical Assistance in Dying, that became legally available to some people with terminal illnesses in 2016. But in 2021, they expanded it with the reasoning that it isn't necessarily reasonable for people to know that they're going to suffer an imminent death. So people with serious and chronic physical conditions could access the law without having to demonstrate that their provider knew they were going to pass away within the next six months. But it still requires that people have capacity at the time that they want to use the assistance. Quebec, the largest Canadian province, is the first to expand this law so that they're allowing people to request in advance this help in dying before they become incapacitated. People who qualify can request this help up to 24 months in advance, and they don't have to have capacity at the time that the help is utilized. This change could allow people with Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia to access this type of help while they still have the capacity to make that decision for themselves. We'll have to see where this goes because the change in the law currently clashes with the overall broader Canadian law. So it may not stand up over time, but what it does raise is this issue that people think it's incredibly important for people with dementia or diseases where they become incapacitated over time to have a say in how they die. The fact that this law passed means that more people are recognizing that individuals with dementia are struggling and need consideration. I know that this type of conversation can bring up a lot of emotion and a lot of thoughts about whether or not people should do it, how it should be orchestrated, whether it's just wrong in general, or whether it's the best thing you've ever heard. I welcome the discussion and I'm hoping that our community can come together and have healthy, productive conversations about it. So thanks for chatting with me about it today and I look forward to our next party in the woods so we can talk about other important things. Bye-bye.